Welcome back, everybody. Chuck and Stacy here with VO Buzz Weekly, and we got more ancient stuff happening today. Hey, you know what? Mm -hmm. You guys, we would really appreciate it if you hit the little logo over there on the bottom yeah. and subscribe to our show. Yes, and thank you to everyone who has subscribed oh, and all the awesome views. It means a lot course. to us. And if you haven't watched part one with Vince Labica, do that, that first. because here comes part two. DPN Talent Los Angeles. Let's, Let's get, get buzzed. Buzz. Turn it up. Get ready. You're tuned in to Feel Buzz Weekly. Weekly. And now, prepare to get seriously buzzed with your hosts, Chuck Duran and Stacey J. Aswan. So, Vinny, now that we're buddies, I'm calling you Vinny, okay? <laughs> now that we're buddies, exactly. Um, is it possible to take a non-union job and convert it to union? Of course. And does it happen? Does it, yeah? Yes, of course. I've, I've done it on multiple occasions. Um, mm -hmm. It's about having contacts at at Paymasters, yeah, uh, people that are, are SAG signatories, mm -hmm. having contacts over there like DG or you know Fallon or you know there's there's a lot of ad agencies in the country and there's yeah. a lot of people that are willing to you can work a job as far as you know you find out their budget and you kind of go from there as far as with production company hey if we can run this through a signatory and we can you know there's any signatory can create a media buy yeah. for that whatever client and it'll have a full health and pension and everything else breakdown and then at that point it's a sag job so and yeah. nine times out of ten now with a lot of um internet and all that other stuff coming through you realistically to turn over i saw it was like 1500 plus 10 for internet guys for one year guys if we do it at a little bit more it's only 1893 for a year's worth of internet for voiceover via SAG. That's pretty much the rate. So right. you, I mean. So it's a tiny you're, you're, a you're tiny little bit more, house. and the yeah. actor gets his benefits, yes. and exactly. all that stuff, yes. and the client has perks too, right? It, Aren't they protected? And exactly, at that point, the, the, the client's protected with their spot, it's ran through a signatory, Everything's done in a, in a correct manner, and, yeah. and yeah. everybody has a paper trail. And I, so, you're educating the buyers. Yeah, in that sense. You, you, which is important. You, exactly. and. There is different things that SAG are trying to put into place in order to try to obtain to some of these lower budget pro projects that producers yeah. are coming out with. Yeah. And you know, as as far as you know, some of the agents are were a little upset about it. And granted, um, you know, it's called a low budget waiver, but yeah. it's they're they're trying to make a middle ground, which I everybody kind of needs to give a little to get a little yeah. in that sense. Mm -hmm. And um, I feel like if everybody kind of makes an effort, that we we can keep things. From going non-union and keeping them union, and keeping yeah. them union, yeah. and keeping keeping the business that everybody has has so graciously made their livelihood, right. you yeah. know, from from slipping. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So Vinny, if a talent, if you're looking at a new talent, okay, and uh, and they're not union, obviously DPN is a union talent agency, but they're not union, but they want to be. Would you look at a talent who isn't? Yeah, of course. Union, if they got the goods? Of course. Okay, of course. and There's... then second part of that question. Right. Of course, that's good. Second part is, if that talent auditions for something that is union, or are they able to, and then if the client says, I want that guy, you just get taft hard lead, or how does that work? Or does it work like that? Yeah, no, um, it's a great question. Um, any talent that, just to answer this in the first part, any talent that's non-union, that's striving to become union, because the union, all it does is give you health care and a pension, and it creates a structure around the what you want to have be your career. Right. So to, to not have that structure is, is almost scary. So yeah. basically, realistically, anybody who wants to get in this business, you know, it's their option if they want to join the union and become FICOR, you know that's that's their option, but anybody who's striving to join, you should always still have that 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 structure. Yeah. Um, and of course, I take talent that are you know non-union that come in. If they sound, if they have a sound, it's basically it boils down to just to uh, back to if it sounds good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Or and, if it's something that you think that right, you could really you sell. Need that yeah, exactly. On your roster, and yeah. recently, I've taken on uh, a couple different people that are you know they're non-union and they booked right away and. You know, immediately he became eligible, and then it was a must join, and now he's in the union. So, it's there's there's definitely light at the end of the tunnel. It's yeah. just finding you know the it's basically uh, reading for the right things. You never want to get involved in a project that's going to have a huge conflict area that could potentially make you a lot of money in a union 
and if it was a union job. Oh yeah. And yeah. you know, yeah. and it's so you kind of and these with these these crazy buyouts that are in perpetuity and. It's just that you never want to touch any of that no, just because no, it puts... No. It can, let's just say that yeah. one Those more time. Those are my time. two least favorite Do words. Do not never. ever Ooh, in sign any contract for a job in perpetuity. Never, never, never. Ever, ever, ever yeah. because you are completely killing your business. Yeah. It's true. Well, for some people, and you know, listen, we everyone has bills, everyone has their, their path, of but course. sometimes those numbers are appealing yeah. at the time, but you have to think of the long game, which is you, do. you just literally have... You do. I mean, it could put you in a position to where, hey, fifteen grand sounds great right now, mm -hmm. but if you know a, a a similar product came out that was a competitor, but it was a union job and yeah. it was paying you know eight times the amount, you know, and you they can't, can use and you can't you can. read on it, it's yeah. you're losing opportunity. So yeah. again, it's it goes boils down to a conflict thing. There's there's about four major conflicts in yeah. voiceover. You don't want to fill up. Yep. Right, um, right, right. And, you know, it's, again, it's auditioning for the right things. And yeah. when, you, um, when you do audition for those things, getting some of these jobs that may seem very appealing off the bat, yeah. mm -hmm. it, in the long run, you could, <laughs> I, I had a guy recently, and he's older, um, he w auditioned for- He's older, what, 45? Probably, in his, <laughs> no, he's in his 50s. He's in his 50s. And he, uh, he auditioned for a script that was, he read up read for me, and little did he remember that was that was like what eight years ago or something. He read for something that was a direct conflict, mm -hmm. and that was an in perpetuity buyout. Mm. Whoa. And lo and behold, we went online, and there I found it. Was. it. Yeah. So it's like, hey, if you know, it just puts that person in a position to where, hey, I unfortunately you just you can't read for this because right. if the client right. were to see this, if I found it in five minutes, they're going to find it in five yeah. minutes. Yeah. So it's kind of, it's one of those things you just really have to do be careful. Yeah. So. Well, and there's a lot of the fine print that maybe you don't always understand. And so, you know, that's you know, why you need to have your advocates. I mean, I appreciate you weighing on that because we know it's a sensitive thing right now. There's a yeah. lot going on in the industry, a lot of disruption. Um, but let's, let's talk about if somebody is seeking representation, do you have any, um, and as DPN, do you have any do's and don'ts for somebody who's um, looking to get into a real, bigger I mean, agency? Yeah, realistically, it's uh, when sending, uh, everybody obviously, I listen to all, submissions all day when they come through, but it's when, when sending them through, one, you see how long the letter is. If it's, I've, I've had some where it's, you know, you want to read everybody's thoughts. It's like a Christmas thoughts. letter? Yeah, and, <laughs> but when it's over two pages oh or, my. you know, over a big, you know, and everybody wants to give their background and tell their story. Yeah. But it's at that point you have to understand, it's almost like a mini interview. Yeah. You know, you want to you want to show only the, the things, the parts that need to be shown. Yeah. And going into detail about a lot of other things that maybe aren't, are really relevant yeah. to like that. Like, for example, what right. are some things right. that maybe they should mention um, you know, in that you, email? You, obviously, they should attach their demo, so you exactly. know what they say. Yeah. Like. Obviously, you, you know, you want to have your demo, a quick hello, and maybe if you're at another agency, you specify that. Okay. And Because that's another thing, too, you know, before you even hear the sound, all right, well, you, 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 or you, hear, you hear their sound, and then you see, all right, well, not bad, and then you call them, oh, I'm... I'm with still it. with so and so, I'm still so. With so and so, and you're yeah. like, all right, well, yeah. so that you kind of want to be upfront with that because that's you know, it's it's all trans being transparent yeah. is the best right. way. They should um, mention if they're union or non-union. Is that something exactly. that you would need you to know? You kind of want to go into the details. Union, non-union. Are you with another agency? Leave your demo, all your contact information, and from there. Anything after that is just kind of friendly conversation. Maybe any current jobs yeah, they might have recently course. booked? Of course. Right. Anything that you're, I mean, don't tell me about what you, you booked four or five years ago, but anything you've had very recent in the last couple of years, yeah. of course you want to throw that stuff in there. Mm -hmm. But it, as again, it could, it's since agents, and that's, I'm just talking as agents as a whole. Yeah, yeah as a whole, in they're, general. They're very busy throughout the day. There's yes. a lot of things, a lot of moving parts. So the, the easier and the faster that they can get the information, the core information that they need, is going to make it's going to it's just an, it's a quicker yeah. decision yeah. to be made yeah. you know, exactly. in that sense do you guys factor in or how much diligence do you do when you look at people's social media presence or does that factor in at all for you guys when you look at a potential client um i mean realistically as far as from a voiceover perspective mm -hmm. i mean it's it's good to have a social media presence you don't want to be overdoing it um a lot of people nowadays especially mm -hmm. you have a lot of um People, I guess, I don't, how do I put this? Non the non millennial generation, 
that sees how much, how many, how the millennial generation posts, how, how often, and it seems, I don't know if you guys, when you guys were watching the Super Bowl, but the kid that stand, was standing next to Justin Timberlake was on his right. phone. We were right. worried about right. when he saw that. When we, like a million yeah. dollars a second right now yeah. on airtime. Yeah, and, and he's, he's like, he was more interested in his... sending that picture to his buddies <laughs> yeah. exactly. than looking at Justin Timberlake. Yeah. Exactly. And now that is like, it's it's become the norm. Everyone's on their phone and this yeah. and that. So realistically, there's a lot of older, you know, I guess, non-millennial generations that feel, well, I have to be I have to be doing this, I have to be doing this, I have to be mm-hmm. doing this. And what I've noticed is sometimes they're on it too much. They're you know, they're posting things, maybe I went to an audition today or I went to this or went to that. And sometimes, again, holding your cards a little closer to your chest is yep. sometimes better in this business. Yeah. Um, I've just, I've seen it backfire, um, mm-hmm. and, and people yeah. get excited about jobs or things, and that's, that's, that's awesome. But sometimes yeah. you don't, you know, until you fully get that job yeah. or that, that spot is aired. There you go. Leave a little mystery. Yeah, sometimes a little, a little mystery. mystery. Yes. Ramifications. Yes. Yeah, and believe yeah. me, it's a lot cooler to put up uh, an iSpot link than it is to, uh, to, you know, post pictures of you in the audition or this yeah. or that. So, yeah. Yeah. I guess uh, talent just kind of do have to be a little yeah. careful of that. Be responsible. Yeah, yeah. be responsible for sure. Very good. Yeah. Be careful with your social media. Yeah. Yes. That's right. Yes. Um, so cool, man. Uh, let me see here. I know we have some more, some more, uh, oh, hey, Vince. What can a talent do, somebody that's already signed with DPN and you're their agent, what can they do to help you help them as far as being proactive with their career or whatever? Oh. Like, what, what can they do? I mean, a lot of my talent I'm on text with. So, I mean, and on first, you know, we're, we're always on communicado. I had a, a, an hour phone conversation the other night about a guy's read and it was like at after 10 30 you yeah. know mm-hmm. yeah yeah so i mean it's it's really just more so about communication between the agent and the talent because i'm going to know on the other side of the fence what's going on in production side right, right? so i'm going to kind of have a little bit more insight because maybe i talked to the producer for a half hour that day so in that sense it's just about being being communicative with everybody and yeah. and realistically auditioning hustling it's staying on the consistent wheel you hop off the wheel you're not, mm-hmm. you're not getting being on time, mm-hmm. not being exactly. late, sending your stuff, your stuff in back. on time. Yeah. Exactly. And, and that's, and that's really how it is over DPM. We do kind of run a little bit of a, a tighter ship, yeah. but it's been like that forever and there's a formula and mm-hmm. it works, you yeah. know? So, um, because there's always going to be that other guy that's maybe, you know, going to be a little bit quicker to submit or, yeah. you know, so you just kind of, it's, it's a time game in that sense, uh, nowadays, yeah. just because the deadlines they're not, they're not four days anymore. It's right. They're, sometimes they're four hours or, yeah, yeah. you know, so minutes, yeah. yeah. So you get a lot of stuff that's super quick turnaround. So, I mean, my go-tos a lot are the guys that I know that I can count on. If I need the thing to, if I need yeah. to send it out in two hours, I'm going to send it to the guys. I know they're going to flip it yeah. back. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. and it's, you know, it's really how every, the whole roster is on DPN. We, we do again, kind of run a little tighter ship, but yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Do yeah. you encourage your, your talent to, uh, you know, to continue to coach and work on their craft? Of course. I mean, every, no one should stop working on their craft. Period. Um, Whether period, you period. tell them something or not. It's like telling a professional NBA player to stop practicing basketball yeah. and then show up to the games. Um, you have to know what's common. You have to know what's trending and yeah. kind of what's, you know, all right. Can you hear yeah. in auditions the people that are being very proactive with coaching and learning? Uh, oh, yeah. And the others, the ones that aren't? You can have, is right off the bat, it's a, a comfortability level. Yeah. yeah. It's like people hopping behind the mic and being like, all right, I've trained for this. I've been taking the classes. I got it. I got this. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. I, I, I know where I need to be, you know, and, and then you have, and, and then you have some people that are very talented that kind of just go off the cuff and maybe they do get a lot of work. But it does, after a time, it does, will catch up to them. Yeah. Because yeah. You're, if you have, it's just like, yeah, you, it's, 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 it's staying fresh, it's staying current. Um, we have guys that are, hold multiple accounts that still take classes. Yeah. So yeah. it's like that right there. If they're doing it, then even, you know, everybody else really should be, too. Yeah. You know? You, Do you have any, um, you know, say if there's people watching that are either not at a DPN level yet, or maybe they're... Maybe they're represented, but they're kind of hitting a plateau. Um, they're in a, maybe a bit of a valley of, of things. Do you have any advice for, for people just as far as the industry today, which I love because, you know, you have 
Jeff and Kama, you know, that have been around for a long time, and then you're coming in. And so it's like you have this really neat merger of, of today's business and historic stuff, um, vintage. <laughs> um, but what kind of, for today's market, advice could you give to people that are pursuing voiceover? Um, maybe some do's and don'ts or, or things to, to focus on. As far as uh, clients that are, or people that are already at other agencies right now that yeah yeah maybe they're maybe they're they, like you said hit a plateau hit, yeah they're it's, kind of not I mean, feeling and again it kind of does go back to communication between your agent um, mm -hmm. sometimes you know over time agents can um, start to kind of categorize people um, maybe that one guy really made a lot of money doing a certain type of voice or a certain read and yeah. that was kind of his go-to so immediately that and as agents, you kind of have to stay fresh and, and try new things. Um, yeah. Even, you know, trying, and, and especially nowadays, too, having something sound that's just different. It's right. different or it's interesting. It's, you know, and that's going back to, you know, being, um, just hopping on the phone and talking to talent and say, hey, I want you to try it this way. I, I know I, this, was, this is not your yeah, comfort it's level. It's crazy. It's not, right. It sounds a little right. crazy. Yeah. But Trust me and try, let's try it this way. And, you know, lo and behold, a lot of times it's a success because you kind of have to, as an agent, get a little creative with your roster. And everybody has different abilities and yeah. different strengths. And yeah. it's just about finding what ability and what strength a yeah. person is going to fit for that, that yeah. certain spot. Yeah. Or yeah. Do spec. you listen back to every audition that comes back and do you personally, or do you have other people that actually do that? Of course. That? If I'm casting a project... Then every, you're doing yeah. it. Yeah. Um, and that's really how... Man, it, that's a lot of work. Well, that we do it as a team. <laughs> so it's, it does... It, yeah. Every day, um, collectively, David, Trish, I, and, and Jeff, uh, we all, all basically climb yeah. into the commercial room, and we go through all the auditions. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's a group thing. I do... I like it that way, because yeah. if, you know, you have three of the four feels one way, and you have that one, it's... Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it, we, whoever has, everybody has a voice. So yeah. if I need somebody to stay or, or go, it's, mm -hmm. it's definitely, um, but it's, it's just, again, it goes back to pertaining to, pertaining to the audition and what, what we think is going to work. Yeah. I, I personally, I've had a, I've had specs where it's 20 to 30 and maybe I put a guy on there who's like 45, but he sounded cool. Exactly. You know, yeah, like, that thing, right? Exactly. Yeah. And yeah. maybe that 27 year old producer doesn't really know what she wants. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know, Good so, point, it's, sir. so it's, it's kind of like yeah. the, not everybody's perfect, and, and, and it's you never really know until you hear it. So it's always worth a shot. Um, yeah. You know, it's sometimes think outside the box. From working with, you know, Jeff and Kama, like, what kind. As mentors of yours, you say you had said when you first started, what are some things that you've learned from them that you think are really valuable that have helped you? I mean, it's like every day from the day I started, I it's a, learn, a learning process, you know, just kind of getting through it. But it's um, just really just taking the principles that they taught me and kind of just running with it. And that's yeah. the beauty of DPN. It's Jeff's always been, you know, Taught me the the core things I needed to know, but from there it was like, it's like, hey man, you go. This is Trust, you. He trusts you. you. Yeah, to, run with yeah. it. So it's it's cool in that sense. I kind of got keys to the kingdom, if you were yeah. to say. But yeah, um, I I enjoy every day, and I go to work, and I love what I do. Is and it what you thought it would be? I mean, I it's like what I thought it would be, but maybe a little bit better. I mean, I get I I have I have great clientele list. I work with basically the I mean the best group ever you know uh, yeah. me David and Trish are all in the commercial department and it's it's awesome you know we we have fun and we, we kick ass in there so yeah. it's, it's cool you know? well, so cool man there's a lot of commercials being made every day so you guys are hopping <laughs> absolutely, over there man. Yeah. absolutely yeah absolutely yeah um, and we do have a mystery question yeah we have Vince. a mystery question for you baby Ooh. everyone has to do it nobody knows what it is you just pick a little okay. card there all right and you got. can um Okay. Just whatever happens, happens. Ooh, I like this one. You do? You yeah. want to read the question out loud in a character voice? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm, totally kidding. Right? I'm totally kidding. I'm kidding. Do dude. your best right. millennial read. Vince. Millennial yeah, read. Yeah, there you go. Give us your uh, disconnected, not <laughs> yeah, after right. millennial right. read. Oh. Um, I like this one. Uh, where would you choose to live if you had to leave this country? Oh. Um, this, one, this was a good one. I would definitely have to go with probably Costa Rica. Costa Rica, nice. oh. very like neutral. I yeah. would, you know, 
definitely go there for the And you like that tropical surfing. weather, right? Oh, yeah. Minimalist. Yeah. You yeah. know, uh, you know, basically probably just go and work at a resort that's English speaking and teach surf lessons. Teach. Mm. Simplistic. Nice. Sometimes being are you wealthy. An actual, are you, are you surf? a surf? You, I do. Do I you do. surf with Scott Parkin? I, I actually, <laughs> me, I know Scotty is quite the surfer. Yeah. I, yes, me and uh, me and him have paddled out before. So. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. Yeah, that's cool. Do you do like the face paint and stuff? Um, you is, know, it, is it zinc? Zinc. I have a, I have a buddy. He's a client as well. How do you know all this stuff? Man, yeah. I used to sail. I'm I'm on the water. You know, I know the no, water. He rocks out the zinc. I'm not a big zinc guy. I uh, <laughs> I, I definitely I, I don't know the whole white face or the colored face. But yeah. I do have a buddy, Chris Bruno. He uh, he rocks out the war nice. paint. Nice. Uh, nice. Always. Always. That's well, so you'll cool. have to post some some footage of you surfing. Oh, one day. Right. Absolutely. Well, listen, man. It was it's such a treat absolutely. to have you here. Vince. What a joy to have you on our show. Um, we've been we've been wanting to have somebody to represent DPN, because I mean, all mm -hmm. of my buddies are over at DPN, yeah. so I, I have this deep love for that agency. And I've asked Jeff before uh, to be on the show, and he's like, oh, Chuck, you know, I don't do that, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's so <laughs> cool to have you here and to have you sharing with us, man. Thank you yeah. very much. Guys, thanks, thanks so for much all for you having do. me. It's, it's really, it's exciting cool to see, yeah. Yeah. No, to thank see you. what's you ahead are, for all of us. You guys are awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Hey, you guys take care. We're gonna see you next time. Bye, everybody. Hi guys, my name is Vince Lavica. I'm with DPN Talent Los Angeles, and I just got buzzed with Chuck and Stacy. Um, just to kind of leave off on a little ending note, my grandfather always used to tell me, you're always better than you think you are. So uh, just always ride with that mentality, especially in this business. Well, that concludes part two with the very awesome Vince, Vince Lavica, DPN yes. Talent. What an awesome mm -hmm. agent. Man, I gotta tell you. Um, we've had other agents on the show. We've covered all kinds of yeah. questions for you guys. By the way, if you haven't seen those shows, you go mm -hmm. check them out. Um, but we went pretty deep here with this. You know, yeah. we got so many great questions. Well, everybody and comes at it from a different place, so it's really cool. And thanks to Jeff and Kama for letting him come over here and do Absolutely. that with us. We are so grateful to have him, and we're so grateful to have you guys. Thank you so much. Make sure to leave your comments below. And thanks, as always, for watching. We love you. Keep up with us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And just remember, you, you always, always have, have time for a little buzz. The O Buzz Weekly is sponsored by Chuck Duran's Demo That Rock. Rock. The voice of a demo producer to the stars is now available to you. Visit demosthatrock.com and take your voiceover career to the next level. See you next time. And remember, you always have time for a little buzz.